Hi everyone, I'm Lori Whitlock. Welcome to the YouTube channel today. I have been working on this adorable Advent countdown calendar uh, for you this week. It's um, I've got the cutting files over at the Silhouette Design Store and in my shop in SVG format at shop.lauriewhitlock.com. This is a really fun project. It's really, really sturdy. And all these little drawers open up and you can put little treats inside. And you can see that they're pretty good size. It's got one, two, three, four, five Hershey's Kisses and a couple of hearts. Not that you would have hearts in a Christmas calendar, but it just shows you, you could fit quite a bit. I think you could put those Linder mints in here. You could put the Ghirardelli chocolates in here, and you can even fit a gift card in here. And I had one in one of these drawers and I've lost it now. Um, but a gift card will fit in these drawers as well. So let me show you how to put this together. It's a really, really great project. Um, each of these drawers are, they're double um, thickness, so they're nice and sturdy. And they have a casing that they fit in, so they all slide really nicely and neatly. And then you just make these little banks of three drawers and attach them together. And you can see here at the bottom how we've just glued each bank of drawer to each other. And there's kind of a hole down the middle. So let's go ahead and get started putting this together. Oh, I was also going to tell you, um, this is what you get inside the file. You get this project here with all of the numbers. So if you want to embellish this for something other than Christmas, you certainly could. If you want to embellish this for Christmas, I have thousands of projects that you could grab the embellishments um, from and just embellish away. So look how cute it would be if you cut a cute snowman to put on the side. Like I said, these embellishments are not included in the file, but you could go and grab any of your other projects that you have downloaded from me and use those to embellish. You could scale things down a little bit, like that cute reindeer would be darling on this, but you'd need to scale him down a little bit. You could do something simple like this cute candy cane, maybe a Christmas tree. So you can go as elaborate or as simple as you would like. And like I said, you can embellish it for any holiday or season. Um, if you wanted to embellish it for Easter or Valentine's or a birthday, if you're counting down to somebody's birthday, a special birthday, um, you could do something like that. So um, I have also applied all of these numbers with vinyl. Uh, so I cut vinyl on my silhouette machine and then just went ahead and stuck those on and that worked really, really slick and I will show you how we did that. So um, let's go ahead and start putting one of these drawers together. So you're going to cut out 24 of these casing pieces and 24 of the drawer pieces. Okay, they're really simple to put together. I'm just gonna fold everything all in one direction. I'm gonna grab my bone folder here and we're just gonna um, get a nice crease on those folds. And then you'll notice that there's a hole in this little rounded edge piece. That's gonna be a double piece that folds back over and those holes line up uh, for you to use a brad. Um, or something to create a handle for those drawers. Okay, so now that we've got all of those um, folded, we're just going to take those two long pieces on the side and tuck them in and they should meet right in the middle to make a double um, side on this side so it's nice and sturdy. And then you're going to fold these two in and that's going to create a double side on that side as well. And then you're going to fold this back over and glue it to itself. Now that we have all of those lines folded, let's go ahead and put some adhesive on this section right here. And that section. Okay, and we'll just pull those sides up and just make sure the corners stay nice and square. And those two sides should meet exactly in the middle, just like that. And then we're going to do this other side as well. Okay. 
And then this side here, we're just going to put some adhesive on it and fold that down. Okay, at this point, you can put a covering panel on the front of this drawer if you would like. Let me show you one of our finished ones just so you can see what that looks like. So we've got the covering panel that I just went ahead and glued right on the front of the drawer here. And then um, that's optional. If you don't want to have a covering panel, you certainly don't have to. And then you can put a brad on the front of that drawer. And you could do, I mean, there's lots of different colors of brads and different sizes of brads. Um, depends on if you have little kids and you don't want them to open these drawers easily or if you um, want to be able to open the drawers easily. Um, on this example, I've used smaller brads and they're a little bit harder to grab and open. So it's going to be a little bit harder for smaller children to open those. If you want to use a little bit bigger brad, those would be a little bit easier to grab and open. So it's completely up to you on what you want to do there. You might even also be able to find some other cute hardware or knobs or something like that at the hardware store if you wanted to embellish it even further. So let's just go ahead and make the casing at this point. I'll go ahead and use this large brad on this example just for fun. So you can kind of see a different example when we're done. And on the casing, all we need to do is just fold it all in one direction. And on the back side, we have some glue tabs here. Um, and we're just gonna fold those all towards the inside. And that is the back of the drawer. And that's what you're gonna glue to the neighbor. So we're not gonna have a back on the whole drawer. It's just gonna be these glue tabs. And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and run some adhesive down that glue tab. And we will close that and then our drawer should fit perfectly right in that casing. And when these tabs are all folded, it comes right to the edge. It's perfect. So now you would go ahead and make three of these and glue them together. So that's going to look like this. Just take three of those and glue them together. And on the back, you're going to have all these glue tabs that fold over and they're nice and mitered so they shouldn't cross over each other. And then you're going to take your drawers and go ahead and you might want to, it might be easier to glue those together with the drawers out so you can use the table. You can just take all those tabs and just fold them out and just line them right up and glue them together and press nice and firm. You might want to put them in place with the drawers in and then take the drawers out and then press it really well, just depending on how you work and what kind of adhesive you're using. But that's an idea for you. Then you'll go ahead and close those up. Go ahead and put your three drawers into those um, casings and you'll get a nice bank of drawers that looks like this with the glue tabs on the back. Okay, so now once you get, you're gonna need to make eight of these. So eight times three is 24, so you'll have 24 drawers. So when you get eight of these done, you'll go ahead and start gluing them together. And you'll take these glue tabs here or those glue tabs there and you're going to just glue them to their neighbor just like this. You're going to want the three lines of this one next to the three drawers. Okay, and then you'll turn it and then you'll do the same thing here. This is just a placeholder. This isn't actually a full bank of drawers, but um, that'll go right here. And then you'll take your last bank of drawers and glue those right there. So you're going to have this little bit of a square hollow middle in the middle of that section. And you're going to make two full sections like this. And once you have this section done, you're going to glue this piece of cardstock in between on the bottom and on the top. Let me show you again on the final one here. So, oh, the other thing I need to show you real quick is you have a covering panel for these side, this side right here. You're just going to cover that with this covering panel. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these to cover the outside. You don't need to worry about covering the inside panel because that's going to be hidden inside. But you will want to cover these outside ones. So right here, you'll want to cover that one as well. Okay, so once you get your set of four glued together, you'll glue this middle on and 
I'll show you what it looks like next. So you've got your middle sandwiched in between. It does overhang just a little bit. If you don't like that, you could always trim it down just a little bit. Um, and then you'll glue at the top on and then you'll glue another bank of drawers on top and glue a top on. And then there's a covering panel for that. So you can put a decorative paper on that. And I'm gonna flip this all the way over so you can see the bottom, which looks like this. And I haven't quite finished this. I just need to glue this bottom cardstock on to finish it off. But I wanted you to be able to see inside. This is what it looks like. Just got two layers of those drawers stacked together. And then, oops, let's go ahead and run some adhesive on in here. I'm gonna use quite a bit of adhesive just because I don't want this coming loose. And then we'll just, I'm just gonna flip it over actually so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'll just center that in the space. Should be a little bit of overhang on each side. And then just press that down. And there it is, completely finished. Okay, the last thing you need to do, like I said, you can embellish with different things on these panels if you want to. That's totally up to you. Um, and like I mentioned, those are not included in the file. You'll have to grab those from other projects that you have downloaded from me. Um, but let's go ahead and put the numbers on some drawers so you can see how I did that. So I've got the number 22, 23, and 24 here ready to go on these drawers. So I have just gone ahead and cut those out, put on my transfer tape. Now I'm just gonna peel up my transfer tape with my numbers on it. And I've kind of cut those apart, or I can just tear them apart. And I've kind of done a pattern, if you'll notice, where I have done one, two, three, you can do this however you want. If you want to line them all up, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can do that or keep all the numbers inside. But I did a one, two, three, four, five, six. So I start on the outside, go to the inside, then the outside again. So 22, I'm going to put on the outside and I just kind of eyeball it in that space over there and try and get it centered top to bottom and just peel that up. And make sure that's pressed down really good. 22, and then we'll put 23 over here. Vinyl is really fun to work with if you haven't played around with it much. Um, it's really, it's just like a sticker. So it just makes those numbers super easy to make and cut and apply instead of cutting them out of cardstock and trying to glue them on. And number 24, this is our last drawer. Okay, you can see how easy that is to transfer those on. And we'll go ahead and put these back in our cabinet here. Uh, this would also make a great little embellishment holder. You could label your drawers. There's a lot of great things you could do with this. You wouldn't have to just use it as an advent calendar or a countdown calendar. Um, it's just a really cute decorative piece. And I think kids will have a lot of fun looking in each of these drawers uh, for their surprises during the holidays this year. So I hope you have fun making this project. Please let me know if you have any questions. I think you could do a lot with this. I think it'd be super fun if you could find a little Lazy Susan to put on the bottom, maybe put a knob on the top. You could really go to town embellishing this a little bit more um, if you'd like to. Anyways, I will see you all in another video. Thanks again for joining me today. Bye-bye.